Friday morning, investigators from the Cleveland Fire Department and ATF sift through the burned-out shell that remains of the Iglesia de Dios Pentecostal Church on East 36th Street. They are looking for evidence to figure out what caused a massive two-alarm fire Thursday evening that destroyed the building and took nearly 50 firefighters to put out. I went up. It was a uh, smog inside. Mm -hmm. I was uh, using the extinctor. Pastor Ariel Santiago, who has led the congregation for seven years, says he was inside at the time, but made it out safely. He says all he could do was helplessly watch the church burn. I didn't cry anything until I went to my daughter's house. The cornerstone on the building is dated 1868. Pastor Santiago says his denomination has called it home since the 1980s. He says in recent months, the roughly 50-member congregation has put a lot of work in renovating the church. New carpet, new pews, a new pulpit, a new piano, and other equipment. Like uh, when you have a, a new house and your new house burning completely, you feel like you, you need going to be on the ground. The church has been a pillar in this community, often providing food and other services for its neighbors. Grayson Glass works a few blocks away. Hopefully they can still salvage, you know, maybe the cornerstones and, you know, possibly some other things that can kind of carry on the tradition of the church. The verse below the church's name translates to Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Without our Lord, nothing can, we can do. In Cleveland, Kevin Freeman, Fox 8 News.